Woo-wee! Yeah! We get to celebrate today. All the haters gonna hate. They gonna hate! They what? Tell you something. One thing about the Cowboys and them haters. They love us when we lose and they hate us when we win. So you already know they hating right now. Oh yeah. Another fresh beat. Dope beat for you. Hey. Hey, hey, yeah, man, yeah, man, I know y'all saw it, five and five on ours, five and five on mine, five and five all the way live, all that, so anyway, y'all saw it, the final score, Cowboys, 22, Atlanta Falcons, 19. I take it, man. Oh. Uh, look concerned in the beginning, but you know, I uh definitely say it was a definitely it, it was a, 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 a really well won game by us, by the Cowboys. Uh, we looked a little bit better on that offense, man. We 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 went down there and drove. We drove that first possession. We went down there and drove that ball, which was good, man, to see our offense move the ball like that. Even though we had we had to we had the touchdown. Beasley rarely drops one. He dropped that one, but you know that's okay, man. Because really, truly, if he, he makes that catch and we don't miss that field goal. This is a game that we didn't really have to worry about, but it happened. But we was able to do what was needed to do in order to pull off the win. Uh, so I'm just going to share something with y'all. Uh, according to Sports Day today, they had a few thoughts about the game today. And I'm going to kind of read some of these off to you. And I pretty much agree with what they were saying today. Uh, uh, number one, they were talking about basically Leighton Bender Ash has officially put himself into the defensive rookie of the year discussion. I agree. This young man playing lights out, man. Along with Jalen Smith. Man, I never take nothing away from Jalen Smith, but I do like Van Der Esch because it's his first year coming in. But uh man, they work they work well together, man. And like I said, much props to Sean Lee, because man the dude is coaching these boys up, man. And I don't know if he'll play again, but if he doesn't, man, I'm sure they got a spot for him with with at the linebacker coach for the Cowboys. I promise you, man. I just don't, I don't know, man. Sean Lee is a great player, but you know, sometimes the game will determine if you play again. Believe me, I know. I witnessed it. So anyway, if he doesn't play again, I pray that he stays around and and hangs out with the Cowboys, man, and help these boys along, man. I got to give the big uh, mad props to uh, Will McClay, man. Will McClay, he's the scout, man. This dude hadn't failed this yet, man. He's brought in some some darn good talent for us, man. Uh, you know, and he knows his stuff. I saw him the other day. He was he was uh, he was uh, basically scouting Atlanta's defense, man. I'm watching him chalk up the plays and stuff. I'm like, okay, Will McClay knows a little something. So, but the role that he plays, man, is definitely a plus. Okay, moving on to number two, according to Sports Day. Sports Day said number two, Dak Prescott got off to another shaky start, which, yeah, he did. He struggled to get on the same page with Amari Cooper in the first half. Yeah, that. Then at halftime, Prescott only had 73 passing yards. 34 of them came on a screen to Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, it was a little shaky. It was a little shaky. Woo! Man, we got to get this dude a quarterback coach, man. If we don't do nothing else, he needs a quarterback coach. And uh, we need to find somebody to coach him along as we try to finish out this uh, the rest of this season. But I do agree he did start out shaky. Uh, 
But uh, you know, we got the win. But he do he makes you he makes you hold your breath half sometimes. And it's crazy. Uh, number three, the Cowboys defense only gave up one touchdown. One touchdown, man. That defense, and it was at one of the worst times. But it, what they did on the other possessions that kept the Cowboys in the game. It is. It's what they did on the other possession that kept the Cowboys in the game. Yeah, I mean, you're going you to have your breakdowns, man. You know, defense going to break down every once in a while. But, you know, they and I started, they started kind of gashing us up that middle for a minute. I'm like, dang, what's going on? But, you know, oh, and this is what I was going to say. And one reason for that, because we had four linemen out. We had four D linemen out today, man. We had... We had uh, Taco Charlton, we had David Irvin, Antoine Woods, and Daniel Ross. All four of those brothers was out today. So guess what? What we usually do, we try to keep eight men rotated on the defensive line. Well, we weren't able to do that today. And I think we activated somebody off the practice squad. So we weren't able to do what we usually do to keep fresh legs out there, which, man, I think that's a plus when you got – the rotation like that. So we had those four guys out, man. That, that really hurt us. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, we only, but we still gave them one touchdown. We did. So let's move on. Number four, Elliott had another big day, which he did. I think the brother ran for 122 yards. If I'm not mistaken. Cowboys obviously don't win without his 122 yards rushing and a touchdown. And his team high seven catches for 79 yards. That's something to think about. When that man is active like he is, we got a good chance of winning. And number five, the Cowboys are still in the playoff hunt. What? You don't say what? Yeah, so we are still in the playoff hunt. And according to Sports Day, uh, Starting quarterback Alex Smith suffered a significant injury Sunday. Sunday today, rather. I hate that happened to him. So I wish I think that's gonna call up. He was actually, he was actually cutting off the off the field. As the Redskins, they lost to the Houston Texans today, man. But man, our prayers go out to Alex Smith. You never want to see anybody get hurt like that, but. Prayers go out to Alex Smith. Hopefully everything comes all right. And if it's not as bad. But if it's not as bad, I still rather for him to sit out Thursday game. Alex, take your time getting well, man. Ain't no rush, man. Just sit back, man. Let Colt McCoy, the backup guy, come in and, you know, play a little bit. Let him play a little bit. Take your time. Get healthy. So, yeah, those are the five things that was, uh, that was, uh, talked about today, which which what what, what was uh, some good things to think about, because these things are actually were effective and something to talk about. Uh, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to, let's look on, let's, let's move on to the box scores. Today's box scores, today the Cowboys scored in the first quarter. We scored three points in the first quarter. We didn't score in the second quarter. Falcons actually scored six points in the second quarter. And after halftime, we came back and we scored three. Along with the Falcons, they scored three in the, in the third quarter. In that fourth quarter, we scored 16. And the Falcons scored 10, which gave us a score of 22 to 19. And with that being said, Dak Prescott had 22 attempts. Uh, he was 22 of 32 for 208 yards. Okay. Uh, Matt Ryan was 24 of 34 for 291 yards, and they lost with one TD, one interception. Okay, sorry, it happened. Uh, going to the Russian category, our boy uh, Ezekiel Elliott had 23 attempts for 122 yards, one TD. Longest run was for 23 yards. Dak Prescott had four attempts for five yards, one TD. Longest run was five, uh, four yards. Uh, who was this? Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis had one for five yards. So um, that's what's up, man. You know, we needed that 122 yards. Also on the receiving end, Zeke Elliott was targeted eight times, had seven receptions for 79 yards. His longest was third for 34 yards. Okay. Cole Beasley had, was targeted seven times. 
Five receptions for 51 yards. All right, his longest was 19 yards. Cole Beasley stepped up, man. I mean, we're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Uh, Amari Cooper had five targets, three. Three receptions for 36 yards. Okay, 17 yards was his longest catch. Uh, Buddy uh, Swam had five targets, uh, four receptions for 24 yards. His longest was 12, 12 yards. Michael Gallup uh, had one reception for 10, which was a good one. Man, that dude ran that, he ran that deep route on that comeback. Perfect. I mean, he ran that route perfect, and we needed that. We needed that. That was put us in good position. Rod Smith was targeted twice, two receptions for eight yards. His longest was five. And then Lenore, dude, you ever pull that stunt again when the boy is out of bounds and you go out there? Boy, you quit acting brand new. Act like you've been out there, out there on the field before, boy. You almost killed us with that darn bogus hit on when the man was out of bounds. So, yeah, that's what we got going on, man. And now, you know, that's what happened for the box box scores. Good stats and everything. But uh, I would like to talk a little bit about the little highlights that I saw today. Uh, I can't truly say with Amari Cooper being out there, it actually takes pressure off of Zeke. It causes that safety to have to play a little deeper than he would if Amari wasn't there. You understand what I'm saying? So it's more like they was putting the, the, the safety up in the box to play Z. You know what I'm saying? So, so what, what happens when you got Amari out there, Amari actually requires help over top because he will beat you if you don't, if you don't uh, give that cornerback some type of uh, help. So that pull that back that that safety back a lot farther. That's why why Zeke was able to run up that middle and, and you know get to that third level like he did because that safety was playing deep and had to watch out for Amari. So that was really good. It's really good to see that because now Amari is a threat because he's our number one receiver. Like we should always have had a number one receiver. So uh <laughs> Once again, Cooper makes this spectacular catch. I have no idea how he caught it. wasn't a perfect perfect throw, but he went up there and got it, man. And it was it was a major major catch that we needed. Uh, once again, we know that that uh, Zeke had 23 attempts. This is another highlight that I had wrote down that for 122 yards, and he had seven receptions for uh, 79 yards. So man, when you when you can mix it up like that, man, that's a plus. Uh, Swam did. He played a crucial role, man. He he made some catches, which was really neat in the middle of the field, though. And some on the sideline, so he stepped up big time. So as far as that offensive side of the ball, that that's what I, I definitely saw. And then the touchdown by by uh, Prescott, Dak Prescott. He uh, made that touchdown, man. That was really good, but he. Still a little shaky to me, man. And some things he just, you know, get rid of the ball. He had Zeke in the flats one time and took the sack. I have no idea. On the defensive side of the ball, I got the truth to say, the highlight that I saw was old, old D. Lawrence. D. Lawrence in on the sack. And then I, I, I on, and his, 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 uh, what I want to call it, his, uh, dynamic duo partner, uh, Randy Gregory had one, man. Boy, I'm telling you, two boys, they're playing together, man. I'm telling you, they ain't that nice, man. So seeing they, seeing them make them sacks, man, that was was definitely a plus. Uh, the run stop by Malik Collins, man. He got penetration and just sacrificed his body, man, and then stopped the running back in the backfield. So major, major, major uh, play for the Cowboys. Also, the interception, the interception by Van Der Esch, man. Van Der Esch, man, he got another, fell right to his lap, man. And so, right place at the right time. So, that, that's, that's a plus. So, I'm going to tell you something. A Wheezy, Cheeto, Cheeto, man, man, props to you, brother, because I'm telling you, you had Julio covered. You had him blanketed. Now, how Julio came down with that ball, I have no idea. But I'm going to tell you something, brother. You did your thing, man. You hung in there. Anthony Brown needs you to step up a little bit. A little bit. I, mean, I don't know. You did okay, Anthony Brown. You did okay. But anyway, so that's what's going on, man. That's that's our Cowboys post-game recap. And guess what? 
We get to celebrate while we get ready for this Cowboy and engine game. You hear me? The Cowboys against the engines. Let's get ready. Anyway, that's what we got, man. Appreciate y'all stopping by, man. Let's see if we can't get 100 likes on this thing, man. Let's, no, let's get 100 likes and 100 views, man. Share this video, man. Like I say, this is straight straight talk, man. Straight cowboy talk and nothing but cowboy, cowboy talk. So make sure you like and you sh uh, share the video and leave a comment, man. I'll try to get back to you and answer your question, whatever question you have for me, man. But appreciate everybody for hanging out, man. And let's get ready for that turkey day game between the Cowboys and the Indians. And you know I always say, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a drink. All right, deuces.